It's Cigar Time, the world's <laughs> largest viewed show all about premium cigars. How about that? It's oh, very nice. The world's very largest. Very enthusiastic. I like it. It is very nice. Yeah, you it's a little say, different opening. You didn't say welcome back. Yeah, I, I didn't welcome say welcome back. Cigars. Well, the reason I didn't say welcome back Cause is because we don't welcome them. No, we, we love them. for the oh, Laurel okay. and Hardy. Next week. Stop. <laughs> next week. I don't want to hear that. Next week <laughs> will be our one year anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. There's some betting That's here whether we yeah. should wear formal wear or not. No, no formal wear. Yeah, it's an no. evening gown. Totally. My guess is that no. won't happen. That will not happen. Won't happen. Just let me uh, clarify a few things first. Uh, this show is for you. This show is about premium cigars. Uh, we have a lot of people watching this show, and people all over the world, actually. They view it on Facebook and YouTube. And, of course, the people here in the local Delaware Valley, uh, New Jersey, Delaware, and Pennsylvania, uh, often comment, what do we mean by supporting your local brick and mortar stores? Uh, brick and mortar is the store you go in into in the wintertime when you can't smoke outdoors. Uh, Cigar Cigars has nine stores around the Delaware Valley, but we're not on every corner. And we would just implore you to please support your local tobacconist. He needs your support. He needs your sales. He, he can't operate. He can't run his lounges. He, he can't operate a business unless you support him. We appreciate the support you give us, but we want you to know we support the brick and mortar stores as well. And we appreciate if you spread the business around. Go I'm brick sorry. and mortar. Uh, okay. <laughs> <It's time for laughs> wife does Speaking not want of, you to smoke in the garage anymore. Speaking of the way we're dressed, I see you're wearing your Phillies hat. Aren't they? Uh, yeah, it, it's over. Well, it late. The bloodletting ended a couple days ago. A couple ago. days ago, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I guess, I guess it's time to Tip of the cap. You didn't do it for us this year, guys, but maybe next year. Probably not well, next year. But, 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 oh. I came prepared. <laughs> nice. Mr. Director, is this the right brim? <laughs> good. <laughs> Hopefully Looks the good. Eagles do better than the Well, they're good. doing better I'm so far. This is the 30th. This is the 30th of September, and the guys are doing pretty good. Yeah. I think, you know, off of the cap to all of them. Absolutely. I mean, they, they won a couple of tough games. They could have gone either way, and life what, is good. Uh, What's your prediction? Oh, boy, here we go. Come on, we got to get it on camera, everybody. I predict if I don't light a cigar pretty soon, I'm going to have to... All right, we need to speed this up because Paul's going to have a fit. Yeah. We're running out of time. I just, right. want to, I just want to know where I'm getting my money for the bet that oh I won because of the home runs. <laughs> it's not over yet. Oh, stop. No, it actually, is. it is A couple over. days ago. I yes, lost. It is. You for lost. For the first time in a gazillion years, Grazie you actually Dio. You beat Dio. me in a bet. Of course, it's I gave you a layup on that one. I really oh, gave you a layup. All right, 20 so, bucks. So what's the betting? What's the betting on the Eagles this year? Eleven and five. Wow. You heard it here. Rob? Uh ten and six. Twelve and four. Gotta be different. I'm with Rob, ten and six. Are you kidding? There you go. That's what they did last year. So I'm, I'm Boy, thinking I'm so torn between eleven and six and twelve and four. Or eleven and five and twelve and four. I could take the I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on the limb. Eight and eight. <laughs> oh boy, that's a limb. Yeah. Twelve and four. There you go. Wow. Okay. I'm out on a limb. All right. I'm all by myself as I, usual. I, I think it may be time to start talking about cigars. Yeah. Oh, thank God. That's okay. why we're here. <laughs> uh, Miss T will introduce our our cigar for today. Our cigar today is the Oliva Master Blend Three. the The wrapper is a Connecticut Broadleaf Sun Grown. The binder is Nicaraguan <coughs> Habano, and the filler is a Nicaraguan Lajero. The sizes are a Robusto and a Churchill, and the taste profile is roasted nuts, pepper, and herb. Just want to point out that Oliva is the second largest grower in Nicaragua. Um, their Oliva Master Blend series, each one has a different, completely different blend, and how much you get depends on the, how much they yield from the crop of that season. So. I just also want to point out that we're lighting, uh, yeah, cutting and lighting our cigars with uh, Zycar. One of our Zy sponsors. Yeah, one of our sponsors, the Zycar. Loom. What kind of Zycar? That's the Illume lighter. Very sexy. Very nice. Comes in eight different colors. I it got does. the white. Re-engineered with a bigger tank. Who got the black? <laughs> I got yellow. I kid, have orange. That's what my kids say about me. What? That I've been re-engineered with a bigger tank. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no whispering. I'm They're sure official they sponsor, aren't they? They are. They are an official sponsor. Of Cigar Cigars. Yeah. yeah. Cigar, cigar time. time. Not Cigar Cigars, Cigar Time. Cigar Time. But <laughs> Paul, have, <laughs> have you got show. any uh, words of wisdom this week? About this cigar? No, not yet. We're just with it. Oh. You have a topic. Yes, I do. Okay. You Let's know, hear it. 
Mm. We've talked a lot about tobacco, and of course we all know it's a plant, but what we haven't talked about much is the tobacco flower, without which there would be no tobacco plant. Makes sense. A couple of things that if you think about it, you might already realize. Uh, the flower pops out on the tobacco plant when it's uh, fairly mature, usually about six feet tall. Um, and in the, on, on the plantations where they're growing the tobacco, typically they pinch off the flower as soon as it starts to emerge. And they do that so that all of the nutrients that would go to the flower wind up going to the leaf instead. Because the more that goes to the leaf, the more flavor you wind up with. And since the plant's six feet tall, Rob can't reach the top. That's no. very funny. So, so they pinch Short off. Short jokes, really? <laughs> <laughs> You're not much taller than me. He goes for the broadleaf flower. Yeah. Oh, that grows lower. Let's not um, that. It, it's an interesting thing, though. <laughs> during flowering time in the fields, uh, you will see about one out of every 50 or so plants will have a bag. A plastic bag over the flower. It's one of the ugly ones. But yeah, <laughs> I, I, I could do five minutes What's with that line. What's going on with I your mean, cigar? I could go on and on about. Check out the operator <laughs> error a, in lighting that cigar. That's a double bagger. Yeah. That's a double um, bagger. <laughs> <laughs> they do that because it's very good, Scott. Don't they, forget, this is the family hour. Yeah. They select a particular plant Half that they want to get seeds from, and they let that one continue to flower. But because the seeds are so minuscule, I think you pointed out there's somewhere on the order oh, of like 11,000 11, per gram. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's about the size of a, uh, a grind, like if you ground coffee, it's about the size of a seed. A ground. really fine ground coffee. Anyway, so they pick the ones that they want, they put a bag over the top, and they let it go to seed, as they say. But I want to talk to you a little bit about the flower itself. Um, if you've never seen one, uh, we'll try to get a picture that you can see during the, during the airing of this show. The flowers look like trumpets. They're, they're kind of long and, and deep. Um, they generally are either white or a very pale purplish color. But here's a few surprises. They only open at night. They stay most of the way closed until the air cools off and the sun goes away, and then they open up. Because the freaks come out at night. Like vampires. Nocturnal. Because yeah. they're freaks. Uh, and Well, no, it's actually because tobacco is a member of the nightshade family, oh. and that's a characteristic of all nightshade plants that they mm -hmm. open. That's what what, are the, what other nightshade, nightshade plants are there? Belladonna. That's what I wanted <laughs> you to say. Yeah. Yeah. We won't go there. You, you, uh, you don't want to chomp on those. Uh, no, well, you don't really want to chomp on a live tobacco plant either. No. Um, they are extremely fragrant. In fact, they make an excellent garden plant for around your house. It's a slightly different breed, but tobacco plants are actually very common in gardens in the United States. And the reason is, uh, if you get the lower growing varieties, they almost act like a ground cover. Uh, they, the flowers are actually very pretty. They smell fantastic, and they attract hummingbirds like nobody's business. It's one of the best plants if you want to get hummingbirds to come around and, and hang around. And even though it's an annual, which means it dies every year, they come back every year because they make so many seeds mm. uh -huh. that it just naturally reseeds itself and comes back the next season. Nice. The, the fact that they attract hummingbirds is actually very useful in the tobacco business. Historically, uh, that's how they would pollinate the plants on the plantations. When it was time to pollinate, when the flowers were coming up, they would release flocks of hummingbirds into the tobacco fields, and they would go from flower to flower carrying some of the pollen with them and moving around and, and that's how they would reproduce the plants. Uh, they might do it in some parts of Cuba but that's not generally how it's done anymore. It's, u it's usually done in, in a lab in a hot house and they wow. generate new seed that way. Paul, you might want to uh, you might want to explain since you know a lot of people watching the show live in the cities or the urban areas and may not be familiar with hummingbirds believe it or not. You know you don't see too many hummingbirds in downtown Philadelphia. 
No, I would imagine not. <laughs> explain what pigeons. Yeah. Depends on what you got. <laughs> Exp explain what a hummingbird for, is. For those of you that don't know, hummingbirds are amongst the small, mm -hmm. I think they are the smallest species of bird. They're typically only about that big. Yeah, a couple inches. Uh, they're called hummingbirds because they're one of the few birds that hover. They don't glide. Yeah. Their wings beat so fast that they can stand still in the air like a and chopper. just hover. Yeah. Uh, kind of like a bumblebee. Yeah. And one of the interesting things about them, if you watch them, particularly around a tobacco plant, is they have a fairly long beak and a very long tongue. And what they do is they hover in front of the flower, they point their beak at the flower, and then stick their tongue all the way into yeah. that yeah. trumpet to pull out some nectar and pollen. That could be useful. Uh, I've seen all I've kinds of ways. That. I've the seen cartoons that. show that when you show the little tongue coming out. It is of Like the horn shape looking. There beak. is actually a brand of cigar <laughs> called Nectar de la Flor. Oh, yeah. Which means nectar yeah, from the, the flower. Flowers, and yeah. their logo is a hummingbird in yeah, front of the tobacco yeah. flower. <laughs> you know who makes that cigar? Sonny Henny? No. <laughs> oh, God. Does Nestor make nectar? <laughs> no, that's not a Nestor cigar either. Who makes it? That's. That's one of mine. Oh, it's one of your old brands. Yes, it is. Ah. It's not so good. I didn't even talk about initial light up. So that's about tobacco flour. Unless okay, you want to talk about more. You, well, can, you can make great bread out of tobacco. That was pretty cool. Why do they take the flour off the plant? Because the, the flour sucks a lot of nutrient out of the plant. Mm. You know, all plants, when they're reproducing, send all of their nutrients there instead of anywhere else in the plant and you want it in the leaf you don't want it in the flower okay interesting i think it's interesting that. he did say that before in one of the earlier yeah, episodes no he, i said it about he didn't hear ago. it oh i wasn't listening <laughs> no, he's, over Gee, Omar. he's right there he didn't hear it oh okay so what's the first impressions of this we didn't even get to do initial light up impression what didn't we do sweet yeah. the initial light up impression it's actually it is very oh. sweet. Sweet and it's yeah. so spicy. far. Spicy. It is spicy. Yeah. I'm yeah, getting really. roasted I nuts as soon as I lit it up. Really? I get yeah. those too, but only when I'm in the sun. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, man. Wow. I, I think it's time for maybe a word from one of our other sponsors. Who? Oh. Who's that? Barbecue Barbecue. Oh, oh. oh. BBQ, BBQ. Do you like good barbecue? Do you want mouth watering, succulent meats and Everybody side likes dishes? Good barbecue. Watch the graphics as they go by. If Paul does his job well. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind that. <laughs> barbecue, barbecue. You can see the menu and you can see pictures, even more pictures than are being presented now at mybbqbbq.com. That's mybbqbbq.com. Might want to spell that out. I think I just did. <laughs> oh, he did? Oh it didn't sound like he did. Oh, my God. <laughs> it like a word. As you can tell, oh my God. The, <laughs> the lovely Miss T. Wow. The lovely that Miss T. It was serious. That was, was serious. A, was are, you, an Oxford, are you kidding? Was an Oxford <laughs> graduate. <laughs> wow. Oxford Circle. Have you ever said the following line? What's the number to 911? No. <laughs> yes, you have. Yes, well, you're, yes, you have. you're there. I hope you don't ever you're right, but You're right there. Wait, we're in the middle of a commercial. <laughs> oh. Let's start it over. You know, if you go to that website, yeah. to my, and this is how it's spelled, mybbqbbq.com, if you go there, <laughs> the first thing you'll see is some incredible views of the all-you-can-eat ah, barbecue I was coming buffet. around to that. Well, I'm bringing you I there. was coming around to that. Every Monday and Tuesday night from 4 o'clock to closing for 19.95 is all-you-can-eat barbecue. Pick me up on it if I forget something. One nine nine five. Ribs. Brisket, pulled pork, pulled chicken, sausages, barbecue lasagna, meatballs, barbecue lasagna. Oh, that's you, awesome. Have you ever had you, barbecue yeah, lasagna? Yeah, so you you barbecue lasagna uh -huh. is incredible. Pizza, don't forget the cornbread. Cornbread, cornbread, cornbread oh, macaroni and beans. cheese, green beans. What, what, kind, of, what kind of green? <laughs> <laughs> Did he just say no, it? I said, <laughs> I said collard greens. <laughs> Oh, hey, boy. I'm from the city. Give me a break. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not from the south. Uh, there's even uh, what roast forget? pork and rib stew. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, that is good. really that good. Is sausage and meatballs. So right. bottom line is, bottom line is, if you go 
to the Barbecue Barbecue, which is located at 537 Easton Road in Horsham, right up the street from the Horsham Cigar Cigars. And you mentioned that you heard about this on Cigar Time. They'll laugh you right out of the... No. No. <laughs> they will give you a free dessert and a hearty handshake. Uh, I knew he was going to get it uh, in. Stop, I man. told no you. Laurels, no laurel, just a hearty handshake. So I, no, yeah. seriously. Closing's at 9 o'clock. You, seriously, you, you will close. love the food. It's worth TV the stuff. drive. You know, I've seen a lot of barbecue people going time. to the barbecue store, putting their order in, coming down here, grabbing a cigar, and then going back and getting You can do that. You can do that. I think that's awesome. Well, you're gonna, gonna time. folks, you're going to love the food, and I guarantee it. Ah, oh, what are you going to guarantee? I personally guarantee I it. I personally guarantee it, because I'm an eater there myself. Really? Can you tell? <laughs> Enough already. We eat there every day. Yeah, well, every day for every lunch. Day. Almost. Us every minions, day. no. Us minions. <laughs> no, <sorry. yeah. laughs> I think it's time to give our initial impressions after we burned the. I want to. I want to say something we about did. the fact that this is the um, Master Blend version three. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I, it had, it had the come newest out version, two, yep. two times before. Yeah, I mentioned that. And one of the things about the first two okay. was that very distinctive was that yeah. they were actually the the wrapper leaf was tattooed with a design yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. the original one yeah the first, first two. two. Oh, first yeah. two i yes. thought it was just the first one yeah. and then the machine that did the tattooing of the tobacco broke oh. and when uh when they found out that it would cost over a hundred thousand dollars to fix the machine that's the end of that they machine. said let's forget the tattoo and just focus on the cigar the tattoo oh. is actually pretty cool it yeah, was cool. it is but yeah. a hundred thousand dollar cool yeah. but yeah, the no. cigar is pretty cool too this so it costs more to fix the machine than it actually yeah. costs to make it probably wow. another interesting fact they they actually the leaves that went to make this uh used to be exclusively used for the, a family blend it, they, oh, it was okay. just a cigar that was it wasn't smoke. released. Yeah, yeah. It was just something that was for private use. Um, for the and then they, family. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, interesting. Is there any other cigar that has a a, a Connecticut broadleaf that's box pressed? I know there's another Connecticut broadleaf, oh, but I don't think there it is. There's another is Connecticut. There is another one. Yeah, there yes, is. It is. It's it's a it is Connecticut broadleaf. Yes, yeah. it is. But it's a what's interesting grown. is it's a sun grown and it's not a Maduro. Yes, you usually it looks only see broadleaf, Connecticut yeah. broadleaf yeah. as a Maduro. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not a Maduro. It's no. not a Maduro. That's, what, that's why I ask. It's yeah. unusual. Well, it's an unusual then maybe one. Yeah, the, uh, in that Perla aspect, the Perla. That's not actually broadly. broadly. That's, that's not, not broadly. Connecticut, Connecticut. Connecticut. No, no, Connecticut no, broadly. Oh, oh, oh. Top oh, no. There is a Connecticut broadleaf, but broadleaf. I don't think Maybe. there's a sun Maybe. grown. It is. I don't know. I don't think there's a Connecticut broadleaf sun Well, I feel like I've lost control of the show. You yeah. haven't. This yeah, is good banter. Like the answer. Yeah, since, well, you know. Since the, since the camera started rolling, you've lost control of the show. That's because you didn't start you it just off have to be in I control. feel this massive tension in the air here. What tension? Cutting edge mm. tension. You're bringing I like tension. It. I like <laughs> it. <laughs> it's the smoke. It's the smoke. A lot of smoke. It reminds me of a song. Smoke this gets in your eyes. This is the smokiest cigars Yeah, this I've, is very smoky. I, yeah, I like this. Well, should we talk more about the cigar yes. or should we bring up our topic? Well, how expensive oh, is this? Topic. Oh, topic. Yeah. Uh, it's, this, uh, one, this is yeah. a little robusto. This is 1030. Wow. And the Churchill is 12, what was it, 12? So it's twelve forty, I think. Something like that. Like it's, a, it's a very limited release cigar with it a is price very limited to match. release, Yes. Okay. We have it all. It's stores, limited right? because it in each all each each year they come out with a different one. That's hence Master Blend Three. This is number three. Each crop is going to be different. Each blend is going to be different. Right. Correct. And and how much you get depends on the crop. Well, so I have an idea. You get licorice. I have an idea. Isn't it time for us to really, uh, you know, give some people a great buy? What? Yeah, if what? you want to. Suppose we make some 10 packs. How's that sound? Oh, we're doing a special? We'll do a 10 pack. A pack of 10. So a pack of 10 would be, I guess, between be 103 and, and, and $124. So I say $100. How much? That sounds like a good number. $100? How do you spell that? Oh, my God. <laughs> no. How much does the shrink wrap cost? Um, we add that to the cost. Oh, yeah, so we'll throw in. We'll dollar. throw in the shrink wrap. Ah, see. Well, so, so, are, so there, are there ten cigars in the ten pack? There are ten cigars in the ten pack. Oh, okay. Just wow. Check. Yeah. That, uh, how many years did you go to school to figure no, that one out? because you said it like four times. What are they going to be okay. the sizes? So we're going to we're going to offer a Robusto and a Churchill. Oh, okay. So so we know the retail would be between one hundred and three and one hundred and twenty four. Throw out some suggestions. What should we sell it for? Eighty. <laughs> Eighty nine. Ninety five. I like Tia's favorite number. Sixty nine. 
<laughs> that is my favorite number. Wow. <laughs> he remembered too. You see that? Oh, we have really gone down the toilet. This is okay. going right in the toilet. This is not. Scott, in the what do you Great number. Seventy. Wait, he just said sixty-nine. Well, you know, Scott always wants to go up. <laughs> I gotta tell you, nope. I th I don't think we should give a deal at all. This is a great cigar it's that should very sell good. itself. Nah, I don't people know we should this give is a deal. Aliva. Oh, we you're should give mean a deal. Today. Did, we, did we did we tell people this is actually a cigar from Oliva? I don't yes. think yes. so. That, yeah, I said Oliva. Oliva, Master Blend. Wait, so. every time we've offered a deal, we've sold thousands and thousands. So there why don't we things. why don't we continue the tradition? Okay, let's all make right, fifty nine ninety five. Well, you're heading in the right direction. Wait, you're doing a pack of ten because they come in a box of twenty. So I think that's awesome. A pack of ten. I think that's awesome. Why don't we give them out for? Don't say forty nine ninety five. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Forty nine ninety five. Well, now you're not allowed. You're not allowed. Wow. I'm not allowed to say it. No. You can say whatever right. you want. I'll say it anyway. Forty nine ninety five. Wow. Pack of ten. While supplies last, and we have a few thousand left. So no dealers. That's a fifty percent discount. That? No dealers. More than that. No dealers. Yeah, no dealers. What's dealers? Limit a thousand to a customer. What is dealers? No mean? retailers can come and buy a bunch. No to sell wholesale. In their store. No wholesale. Yeah. Okay. And we'll continue uh, this for at least two weeks or until supplies dwindle. No, I don't know that. Based supplies on, are not going to last. No, no, no. Very long. Yeah, based on stuff we've done in the past. It'll it'll be gone fast. Forty nine ninety five for a pack yeah. of ten of these cigars. It might be gone quickly. Who knows? They're going to go. So under five dollars for a ten plus dollars cigar. Yeah, it's like 50, 60 percent off. A super and premium cigar. a really cigar. good cigar. Okay. Well, let's talk about it. Let's rate it. Well, we first got to do our review. We got to do a review. All right, so let's do our review and then rate I'll it. I'll start. Okay. Um, my initial uh, taste of this was very spicy, and, but it was smooth. So it was almost like a spicy, mellow smooth. Um, the construction is beautiful. I love that the ash is just hanging on, not going anywhere. That's always good for ash. Um, I definitely get. Go? <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna go, run it's away. Gonna go it's, gonna go <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna go back to Paul C. Um, I get the roasted nuts. But the pepper kind of reminds me of a white pepper. Not really black. I'm getting mm -hmm. white. Um, and yeah, um, I would definitely pair this with um, with a um, limited release of the flying dog Amarillo. Oh, uh, has a, yeah, you like this, right? Like um, I think because it's an homage to the limited, so I think you should have a limited. You know, drink with it. Um, it has a com it has complex combination of spice and citrus, so hence the spice in here and the herb would pair very well with that um, with that beer. Wow, I like flying dough. Rob, I've had a few of these cigars. Uh, it's very spicy. I don't like this cigar at all. Ooh. What? At all. I didn't like the first one, I didn't like the second one, and I really don't like really? this I'm falling off the chair. I don't like this cigar at all. So give me yours. Look there at Scott's face. There I wish is, I had a camera. Really? What, what, <laughs> there is nothing I like about this cigar. Where did Other than the fact from? that it comes from Oliva, which well, I love. I love band? Oliva. You like the band? The band is really nice. <laughs> I didn't even, right, talk, we'll you. You I didn't talk, even about talk about, about the, band. the band. Hey, I'm getting more advanced here. The band is nice. The cigar, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not giving you the whole thing. He's going to tell us why he doesn't like it. get the hook out and give me up? Get the hook. Hey, all right, there goes those sponsors. I don't like the cigar at all. To me, it is completely devoid of taste. Whoa. Wow. Absolutely. And I've smoked more. This isn't the only one I've ever smoked. Okay, I just want to remind everybody. It is not my taste profile I, at all. I just want to remind you everybody. It has no taste. Everybody's exactly. opinion is their it's own. Like it's my own. It's my own opinion. As cigar smoking is very subjective. It is. And sometimes amateurs get a hold no. of it. <laughs> yeah, amateurs. I'm shaking my head no in complete way. shock. This cigar no. is terrible. No You're out of your are mind. Wrong. It's toothy. It's no oily. No opinions are wrong. Some it's are just really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the four of you are. are well, stupid. you don't even know our opinions yet. Yeah. You guys, by the by the reaction you just gave me when I said it was a terrible cigar, I know exactly what your opinions are. I really, 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 really don't like it. I this hate is the way this cigar. Oh, he he hates, hates wow. it. Scott, give it to I'm, Mikey. He likes everything. I like this. I think it's fantastic. I, I mean, it's 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 medium body. That's I think they I think I've read somewhere on the uh, on website that it was full body, but it's, it's about more medium body. medium body. I'm getting a little bit of spice. I guess I will go with the white pepper on that, but I'm I'm actually getting some roast coffee or cocoa notes from it. Paul, um, cocoa nuts. The first two <laughs> puffs were surprisingly sweet, especially yeah. considering that it's not a Maduro. No, I was really no. kind of shocked at how sweet it was. 
And that sort of now has drifted off into a kind of licorice-y flavor. Yeah. Which I really like. Um, and I think the flavors are complex and interesting and screw you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Bring it on, man. Yeah. My, I don't care. You guys are my so remarks, wrong. my remarks will resemble the three other knowledgeable panelists on the, the uh, table. You didn't like no the way. one either? No, the, the one was terrible too. Oh, oh my God. God. Also. I find a cigar <laughs> to be on the slightly upper side of medium. I find a nice sweet finish to it. Yes. I, I can't believe you don't like this cigar. I, but as we've always said, yes. you cannot buy you cannot buy a rating on this show. No. Sponsor or no, no sponsor. We are no. objective. Yep. But remember, cigar smoking is subjective. It is. It is very And if you don't if you don't try it, you're doing yourself a disservice. Yeah, I mean at these prices it's, it's Absolutely. a fantastic Especially for, buy. For forty nine ninety five for yeah. ten yeah. You yeah. have to. And you gotta yeah. try it. If you don't like them, give them out. Just not to me. I think the right. fact that Ron hates them <laughs> is reason enough to buy a 10 pack. <laughs> well put. Oh, nice. Well put. Cool, we got another topic to get to. I oh, think, we got the rating I first. Think, oh. I, I think this should be the first show where we introduce the new the new rating scale. No, 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 no. no, no. Two weeks. Two, two, two rating scale. Two two weeks. Weeks. Nobody two told okay. me about that. Don't Turn in two weeks. I'm always out of the loop. You are out of the loop. All right, so always. let's so let's so, you're a woman. so let's let's <laughs> let's go with the rating before we <laughs> completely run out of time. Tia, four point eight. Well, well done. <laughs> <laughs> he just jumped right over me. Scott? Four point five. Paul, four point six. Well, I sort of resemble what they. Oh, <laughs> oh. I, I, did I forget you? Yes. Give it, give it a number. I give, give it a, a two. You mind if I, I leave? Two. Oh, I give come two. on. I hate King. this cigar. It's the lowest rating I ever. I hate this cigar. Say it I'm again. I'm not to apologize for it. You don't have to apologize. Oh, you'll apologize later. He'll <laughs> <smoke. laughs> You'll be no, sorry. I won't. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> Unbelievable. From the and mouths of babes, off time come gems. What's that's another one you got to What's your rating? What's the, yeah, rating. What's the oh, total? This is a clear four and a half to Oh, my yeah. God. You guys are all nuts. No. And I don't like real strong cigars. This that cigar is not that one. strong. I love yeah, I this one. I'm more medium. I, I get the it. pepper initial. I got I got the sweet finish. I'm still getting a sweet finish, and, and I'm about five bucks in. I get and nothing. The, and the licorice. Come on, we got another. Oh, we're, we'll save the topic for next week. No, we keep doing that every week. We keep doing that. This is the second time. We're going to run out of time. Okay. Yeah. No, Quickly. no, never mind. No, never because mind. I need time to talk about mine. There isn't enough time. There isn't enough time. There isn't enough time. To, to talk about there isn't enough time, so the people will have to tune in next week. We, we need a different host. About bad the cigar no, is. no. <laughs> I'll talk about no. how good it is. Ugh. <laughs> you guys are nuts. <laughs> Why? And it's seventy percent Lajero, which I think it, it it doesn't even feel like that. That's not at all. Mm -hmm. That flavor comes. Yeah, that's where the yeah. I will spend the rest of my life trying to convince Rob that this is not a bad that cigar. Is, that is I'm so glad good he luck did with this. That. Unwell spent. At least you didn't you smash it down your time. like I did. No, you were wasting your time. You Let me so put it this way. We were gonna review this. Four of us agree that this is a super premium, delicious cigar, and one of us one of us is correct. One of us, <laughs> one of us is correct. One of us, one of us, one of us needs, but it's not you. He's one of us needs right. some heavy it's institutional not. therapy. No, it's not <laughs> impatient. Absolutely not. I hate to say it's time to say goodbye. Uh, well, that was quick. Yeah, it went by quick. So somebody starts. I'll yeah. start. Oh, okay, you start. Smoke sweet. Bye bye for now. Hi, Dad. Thanks for watching. Quickly. IG. <laughs> Ciao for now, everybody. <laughs> oh, I couldn't get it out. Hi, well, mom. Life's too short to smoke cheap cigars. There you go. Like and the rest of like I always say, smoke often and smoke happy. We thank you very much for your viewership. Next year is going to be a year, and we'll see you next week. Next year. Thank you very, very much for tuning in.